Okay, so I got a lot of questions on my last video um, on how I programmed my singing pumpkin. Um, really, the comments were um, how you program an Arduino. I promised I would make a video on, how, on, on showing my process on how I did it, and so here we are. Um, in this video, I will be um, teaching you the basics of programming. Um, my, I will be showing the entire process on how I programmed it, um, what materials I used, and what software I used. So let's just let's jump right into it and answering some of the questions that you guys had. Um, one of the biggest questions that I saw, um, kind of wording the comments around, um, the biggest thing that I noticed uh, people were asking is, where do I start? Like what? Like, what do I need to do? Where, like, where, where exactly should I start? Um, you start by buying the Arduino. Um, a lot of your guys' concerns are that you're you're going to buy it and you're not going to understand how to use it, and you're just gonna you you you'll have wasted like uh, twenty dollars. I can assure you that is not the case. Um, regardless, if you figure it out from my video or you learn on your own, um, you will understand how to use an Arduino. So you won't waste your money at all. So that's the first step. You need to actually buy the Arduino. Um, the second step is just buying some little things that are compatible with the Arduino. Um, you're going to want to buy um, um, wire pins. I think that's what the, I don't think that's the uh, name of them. That's what I call them. They're like they're, they're little uh, pins that plug into the Arduino um, in, in a wire form. Just go on Amazon and, and just search up um, wires for Arduino. You're going to find a pack of them. Um, they have little pins at the tip of them, and they plug right into the Arduino. Um, at the end of it, you're going to want to strip the wire, be unless you're using a breadboard to also plug it into. It kind of just depends on how, if you're wanting to wire your item directly uh, to the Arduino or if you're wanting to put some components before it. So it really just depends on your setup. Um, sorry for the fire hydrant. Um, so let's get right into um, showing how I programmed this. Um, the software that I'm using is literally just the Arduino app. Um, this might confuse you guys. This is not a program at all. There's no program called Pumpkin. This is just whenever you download the Arduino app, which is on the Google Play Store, um, it should be available um, for Apple users too. Um, I'm using Windows 10. Um, so I just went on online and, and was able to download it through the App Store. Um, but once you actually name your file, I think you'll you'll when you when you save it, you'll you'll name it, and that that'll pop up there, so you never lose it. Um, so I'm not using any special program. This is literally just the Arduino um, app that's that's available on here. So the two commands that I am using are digital write and delay. Those are literally the only two commands that you'll need to write out. So let's go down here a little bit because this is when I, this is when I was practicing. Um, I made it harder on myself than I should have because this is when I was first learning, and it still works for the pumpkin. You can pretty much you can write this out many different ways. There's an easy way and a hard way. This is where we get to the easy way. Um, and by the way, guys, it is going to be time consuming when you are when you're doing this. So uh, understand that. However, it is a very simple process. There's a lot of copying and pasting you can do, so you don't have to keep writing this out the entire time because that would take decades. And also, um, understand you will mess up a couple times. Um, it is very, very hard to um, write coding for an Arduino and not, um, and not mess up. Um, so don't worry if you do. Um, our, the Arduino app is smart. It will let you know if you've messed up. And it'll tell you where, it'll highlight the area you've messed up, and it'll tell you what you need to do. Um, but we'll get, we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, for now, I'm going to be showing you how I get the um, um, Arduino pins to uh, send power to the lights that I was using in the uh, filler pumpkin. So the command that we're using is called digital write. I'm going to try and zoom into that. So it's just digital write right here. Um, you have to write it out exactly like this, a lowercase d. Um, uppercase W. Um, if you're not using it exactly how I'm doing it, Arduino is not going to recognize it, unfortunately. Um, so you're going to write digital write 
Um, I'm not sure what these are called. I, I completely forget, but you're going to want to put, you're going to want to put that. Um, and then whatever pin you want to light up or whatever pin you want to send power to. Um, I was using um, pins uh, two through eight. So I was using uh, 10, or sorry, not 10. Um, I was using seven channels. Um, I'm pretty sure you can use any of the pins on there. Um, it's on only one side that'll get that'll, that'll allow you to send power to. Um, they are called um, the di digital pins. I believe that's 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 the correct um, name for them. But they are the digital pins, and you'll see it's like two through. I think I think it goes up to sixteen, but I'm I'm not using that many. Um, that's seven is more than enough for anything that you guys want to um, do, and that's what I was using. So after you determine what pin you want to you want to send power to, um, there's two things you can do. You can either put high, like this, or you can put low. Um, in this case, we have the pin turned on because I have it set to high. Um, and if you want to turn a pin off, it's the exact same thing. Digital right, what pin you want to send power to, comma, and then you put low if you want to turn off that pin. And then it's very important that you put this, I think it's called a colon slash, you put that right next to it, and, it, and then it'll fully recognize it. So this right here is an entire command. That small thing right there is an entire command. It will light up, it will um, send power to a pin, or in my case, it will have lit up a pin that I was using. Um, now the reason I have more on this side is because I, let, let's say I want 5 and 4 to light up at the same time. Well, you need to have them right next to each other because the way it works is it's just going down the line, um, which is very, very convenient. Um, now, you can you can choose how long you want it to stay on a line. Um, I have delays on here. So that's the second command that we're using. It's called delay. You just write it in lowercase, and then you do the, the same thing. I think they're called... Uh, they might be... No, they're not parentheses. But I, I'm sorry. I don't remember what these are called. Um, but you, you're gonna put, same thing. Put them, put them on each side, and then you're gonna write your delay. Which in this case I have at 600. So this pin, so this pin is going to um, continue to have power um, for for 600th um, of a second, um, which is longer than you guys think. So when you're programming and writing out these delays, you are going to kind of play with the time. The way I would recommend it is. Um, have all your have all um, your programming laid out um, what pins you want you want to send power to and then just have the delay is 200 and so it's going like duh, 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 duh. and then you're just and then you can just from there um, mess with the um, delays and how long you want the um, pin to stay on for you'll also notice that I have low next to these um, this is a common mistake that I made um, make sure if you if you do want a pin to shut off, you need to have it on low on the next line, or it will not shut off. Um, Arduino is smart; it it will not um, shut off a pin unless you put low on the next line. Um, it does this to make it easier, um, so you don't have to write. Um, ha, um, like, let, let's say I, let's say I want to have eight on high for like three rows, like for whatever reason I want I want to have eight on high. Um, you do not need to write it for three rows. Just write it for one, and it'll continue to stay high for this one and this one until you put eight as low. Um, but I highly recommend writing um, whatever pin you want to have on high for every single one of these, so you can you can um, see what ones you also want to turn you, you want to turn off and on, and so you, there's no mistakes. So you can always see which ones are on and which ones are off. Um, some lines are going to be longer than others. Um, this is just because I want to have more turning off and more turning on. So I can tell you guys right now. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So four, um, so five is the um, the bottom mouth. That's the mouth that opens all the way. Um, four is the top smiley. It's kind of like a smiley face. It makes the top half of the face. Um, three, um, I believe is the middle face and then two um, which you'll, you'll see the two command using uh, you'll see me using the two command in literally almost every single one of these lines the two um, not only completes the three face but it also completes the eighth face now the eighth face is the ooh 
mouth. Um, so that's just the way that Gemi did it. They have two LEDs 